Look, we finish with the ones with the inside first. Madam, what team be your name? Good morning, sir. My name is Olufunke Mata Oshadari. Olufunke okay, Mata Oshadari. Mata Oshadari. I'm a sign language interpreter. You, you, you be sign language okay, interpreter. Yes, I will say before. Share your experience with us. Okay. On Friday, last week, December 15, a few minutes to 7 p.m. In the evening. In the evening. So I enter in front of Nikon Lossary. I uh, went to area three junction. So as I was waiting, no vehicle comes. So one private car now came. He now do and like this. Meaning area three junction. Okay, like this. Yes. Uh, area three junction. junction yes, mm -hmm. sir. So Anna entered. The driver, one man, then one man at the back. So when I entered, the man said, the driver said shift. So the man shifted. I enter. They closed the door. The man said. Driver, you go give me my change now, B. And the driver say, if I don't get in, why I, know, why I carry you? That was the last thing I heard. They just wind up. The man now pin me, pin my, pin me down. For, for your throat, you roll your throat. Yes, sir. My glasses. He pin me down. To no, the, he pin me down between the seats. Hmm. And I held me down. So, whether they carry another one, because I, all the one came to the back. They pass my bag. I have three bags with me. They pack it. The one started beating me. The driver said, Madam, if you cooperate, then you, 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 no problem. I said, I'm going to cooperate. He said, What do you have in your bag? I opened and they, they started searching it. I was there. I'm not seeing anything. So they, they said, I should give them the pin to my phone. I gave them. I t they type it. They open it. They went away straight to the messages. How much do you have? I say I have twenty thousand. They owe you. Better talk through. They beat me with iron. All my back, my head, everything. I say I have two hundred thousand. <laughs> they say, hey, hey, you are talking. They not see two hundred thousand. They hey, I said the, the beating was too much. That is why I say two hundred thousand. Mm -mm. So they say, okay, now the man in the front. After I've told them the ATM pin, the, the, they drop that one to go and be withdrawing money. So I was seeing the alerts. I could not see with my glasses. They said, they, without glasses, they said I should call people to send 500,000. I said, where am I going to call? I said, go. To, they said, go to, the, the phone is then. I said, they should go to contact. I said, the people I'm working for, I said, check on Mr. Ike. They scroll, scroll. We now saw it. I died. It rang once. Second time, the person off. I call another person. That one, I say, go and tell the uh, uh, people who uh, are the team that have been kidnapped. I even asked them, what should I tell them? They beat me again. You don't know what to tell them you, that you are with kidnappers. I told them, they say, okay. Uh, the lady say, okay, okay. They off. Uh, they nobody call back. I said, let me call another person. I called that another person. They say, I, I said, please save me, save me, save me. I was begging them to say, I'm a widow. That my children will survive if they kill me because they would say if they not get money, they're going to sell my, my body to allergy, they will get 3.5. They, they say they want to inject me. They draw my skin that they wanted to inject. I say, please don't kill me. My children will suffer. My children will suffer. I beg them. So later, the person said I should send account number. Mm. I send account number. I they say I should send access. I don't know access often. That only no uh, GT. So I send the GT. Okay. So that one come then and they are waiting. Then later, they say, Madam, those people do not love, they not send money. They started beating me again. They beat, beat. They beat me. So the man that went to, to withdraw money, they are calling him. So when he came back, that, they started quarreling. They started quarreling. They are speaking. Among themselves? Yes, they started quarreling. Why? That the man did not pick their call when they were calling that he stayed too long. That they are wasting their food because they are driving round, round, round. I know. Put you inside the car. Yes, they press me, down. Press down, beating me. <laughs> yes. mm. So it's, they started quarreling. They started quarreling. The driver and I say, the one that heard me say, I'm going to my house. So the driver said, Go now, she be now. You get car if anything happen. So that's how God helped me. The man I say, Prepare that, madam. Prepare that, madam. I'm going to drop her now. They want to drop me. So they now hurt my house. Tightly, they said they want to blind it too. Oh, they now drew me like this. Close Squeeze you, yes, close, squeeze me close to the door. And, and now the tango, he now slowed down. And, uh, 
He said they should be watching. One is watching. The other one, the driver is watching. Watch, watch. The road they they me. pushed you out of the Yes, out of the car. It was later I, I discovered I sustained injury when they pushed me down. Mine was the one in my back. I do like this to so vehicle, nobody stop. And now, cross to the other side. I saw one gate. I saw one mega. I said, Malan, can't make any. Eh, where is this? It's an Arab construction company. Otako. Okay. This where is the closest hospital that I uh, have been kidnapped. They just released me. They now put me inside Keke. The Keke carried me to, he it says, NNPC hospital. The security helped me inside. They gave me first aid, gave me two injections. And they put moon, that is moon. Mm -hmm. And his thick sweater I was wearing blue like this, that helped the something. It's oh, like iron, like the short impact. Ah, so, be for the thickness of the yes, sweater. Oh. So the man I said they cannot admit me that I'm not their staff. So they gave me 200 and 500. They put me in another car. They now took me to Ejabi, Le where our church is. So the church people now carry me back to another hospital. Let's appreciate NMPC clinic. <laughs> At least they make sure they say she they stabilized before and they contribute money giver. Let's appreciate NMPC clinic. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So if you see these people, you go recognize them. Not at all. I Not at all. I don't see their faces. And when I way they hear me now, any more to when I want to enter, look their face well well. Kai. But Maybe they're not going to kill the person again. Ah, These mm. people are heartless. No chance. They, they pin somebody down and beat him, beat him. Sorry, but man. But thank God we did x-ray. There was no broken bone. There's this muzzle, mm, blood, mm, clots mm. that we thank. Sorry, you'll be yes, okay by yes. the grace of God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next person. Ah, ah! In Abuja here. Sorry. Good morning, your name. Um, oh, hold on. Sit down. Okay. Mm. Mm. Good morning, sir. Mm. So, me, I'm not really a victim. I came concerning the case, the four nine, the one chance victim yesterday. Mm. He, my husband is involved. Yes. They were on that the lady died. Mm. Now they found her. Mm. So, on Monday, around 11, I was at home. My husband is an Uber driver. Mm. So, he went to work to do his normal daily mm, job work. so he now called me that i should come or that police from life camp police station that they invited him that his number was found in a missing log of a missing person mm. in a call log of a missing person mm. so i now rushed to meet him at the uh, gariki so we now went to life camp police station together from there so they now started investigation they collected his phone and they now saw that the lady was missing on Friday that she got missing. And my husband could not even remember the reason why he called the lady. Maybe the lady booked her, booked, booked him. him, and maybe or oh, it was a decline ride that he did not go. Maybe he was far from where she was. And because most so the police now said we should write all the trips he did that day. So he did, and most of the trips where all, most of them were declined and he i asked him the reason why he now said you know when they book him that if he's not close to where the person is you now said oh sorry i can't come book another ride so he dialed that number around 1 44 p.m on friday meanwhile the lady went missing on on that same friday around 8 p.m they said she went to visit somebody that on her way coming back she took back the guy said her number was not going through again so that was the only way my husband was involved in the case because she dialed the number and that would, must be doing his uber ride so they said we should go we left the police station that day around 10 p.m we left and on they said we should come back on thursday so on tuesday around 8 p.m inspector bala the same inspector that called him that he should come back to the um police station at life camp he now said it's late that he cannot come that time around 10 p.m no around um eight mm. on tuesday so when he got home and my husband is this kind of person that any small thing will just 
destabilize him. Mm -hmm. And he's one of the person that he has carried somebody that he's changed. Like the person overpaid him. And he called to return back. You were even the one that called him to appreciate oh, to him. Appreciate if you can remember, him. sir, oh, you were on your trip to Kaduna that mm. there was with him. A, a, a mature woman that he carried that overpaid him. He returned the money. Uh, and she, she, she informed you. Yes, yeah, yeah. she informed you. You called and mm. appreciated him that he won a award or so. Mm, mm. So that day we, we went back on, on Tuesday, on Wednesday morning to Life Camp Police Station. When we got there, we saw the like the relative of the person that was missing. They started crying. Oh, I don't know to my husband that they weren't seeing this case. Like, see if this girl had died though, because the way they were crying, because mm. the first day we saw them when they came to complain, they were not crying. They were not crying. Mm. So I my husband said we should just because we don't have any discussion with them. So later on, they now came that they want to see my husband's phone. They want to know when he dialed the number. They laid the sister to the girl that was missing, collected his phone and dialed, and he still showed that it was 1.44 p.m. And they said my husband dialed the number when they track it, track her line, that it was just once that he died. And it's still once that was showing on my husband's phone. So from there, they now police, they now said, that was when we were now informed that they found the dead body of the lady at um, Gilmore, um, bridge hmm. at Mabushi. Mm -mm. My husband said he's not aware of anything that is happening. So they now say they want to transfer the case to Mabushi police station. The officer that came, they now said, Oh, see one of the suspects here. There was a guy there. My husband was not a suspect. We went to Mabushi. They now said they should detain my husband hmm. and the guy that she went to visit before she went missing. And they took statement from the guy. But no statement from my husband. From that Wednesday, he has been on detention. And I have a two years old baby. I've been running from the hospital to, I mean, from the police station to the house. As I'm talking to you now, sir, my baby is at home. And he's outside there with my neighbor. I came with her just to help me take care of him so that I can, he will not distract me when I'm here. Since yesterday, I've been asking them, like, what is the next thing? You are not taking statement from him. You are not doing any investigation to know if he is really guilty. They say the tracker, the guy that tracked the phone is not coming. I said, okay, can I help people to call the guy? Or let me, let me know what I'm doing. Nothing. And they say they want to transfer the case to police command. Mm -hmm. That he's a suspect. As I'm talking to you, maybe they might have transferred the case. Madam. Yeah. You cannot know whether police are investigating or not. Police get the method where then they take investigate any type of case. For the fact say they obtain statement from the person which you go visit. They know take statement from your husband. They know what then they do. Okay. Don't push the police. Now we are in the know. The whole world is in the know. Allow the police to do proper investigation. If they quick release your husband now, no problem to you and your husband. Because the family feel talk say your husband give money now. You know they hard for people to accuse police for Nigeria. I don't know whether I understand. So allow police to do their work. Me, I don't stay for detention for months. Now man, they enter cell. Even prophet of God don't enter cell. Now, dear, you see, you begin translate dreams for the king. We we'll put her for detention. Calm down. Your husband is a man. We are thankful to God that he has a caring and loving wife like you. But don't over push it. Let them do their work. Once you don't they suspect Mago Mago, let us know. But for now, allow police to do their job. Good idea, yes? Thank you. Thank Imagine you. saying now your sister or your daughter, Naim, they find her dead body. They can't talk, say, the p fingers they point at the man where she go visit or the person where she go visit and your husband and your husband uh, and the, uh, the somebody number a day amongst the call log, we call the lady. We are not going to insist, may they investigate the people. So put yourself in their shoe. 
put yourself in police uh, people's shoe. Allow investigation to happen. Justice go come by the grace of God. Thank you. Thank I don't you, know sir. whether I handle and where. Yes, my dear, come. Sorry, eh? Mm -hmm. They don't. Your name now? My name is Joy. Hmm? My name is Joy. Joy, Joy who? Paul. Joy Paul. Yeah, good Tell morning, Lord, my president. Good morning, my dear. Good morning, Brekete family. Um, I want to share my experience with everybody to educate people because mm. most people are not aware of mm. what is going on. Um, mine is more like a job. I I got a link. I was looking for a job. I'm a single mom. So I was thinking of how I can survive and, you know, so I got this job and when I got it, I was like, okay, let me apply for the job. You so uh, yes. you, uh, you saw a link yes sir that talks about job or uh, yes. uh, job, job opportunity job opportunity you clicked on it yes sir then what happened so i got the, the they started interviewing me we uh, did a whatsapp call and i was talking to the manager they sent me a number they sent me a mail i i followed the process then I, after then then i said okay that i i was um i got the job that then I'm, go to, I'm going to resume the next day, which um, they, they collected more. They said I would pay some amount of money, which I did for my costume because How it was much? an ushering job. They collected 10000 first mm. for the costumes. Mm. So I prepared for the job. Then I called the manager, okay, sir, I'm ready for the job. Then I said um, the job will be for seven, that it is a, um, it is a conference um seven meet. in the evening yes sir mm. which it's day on the 24th of august 2023 no, this year this mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. okay. 24th of august this year so after i they said okay the job is scheduled for 7 p.m so that um it will be an all-night job because we'll be be the one inviting people you know um entertaining the guests and ushering them to their normal seat where they will sit down so i agreed and I went for when it was time i got prepared they said that it's for four days that i need to get prepared because the distance to my place is far so i won't waste much transport going and coming we are the uh, the, the they tell you say go be the venue of the event okay they no tell you the venue event tropical we are event tropical today they said is that um he do okay yes he do continue okay so i i took i carried my bag i left the, although when i was leaving my mom was like she's not too certain about my going that Are i should yes she felt it she yes she felt it she said her spirit told her that that might that's the last time she will see me i said mommy no now i your mom this. told you this yes sir Yes, sir. She did. How old is your mom? She's over 50 something. Your mom is gifted. Yes, sir. Your mom she is, is gifted. She is. So continue. So she was telling me not to go. I said, Mommy, I need to go because, um, you know, now I got to fix up things for the kids and the rest of this. She said, Okay, that God will go with me. I said, Amen. So I left the house that night. I got to the junction, so I called the manager. The manager said they can't come and pick me again. That this time they are late already. That I should hurry up, hurry up. I should take vehicle. I thank God I was having enough enough cash with me. Then I carried my ATM with me. So I left. I got to um um somewhere at Idu, somewhere at Idu. So I now called the manager. Said when I got there, when I get there, I should call so that they will come. He will call the the gardener from the hotel to come and pick me from that place so i said no problem i you got do this you do here yes sir by where by um there's this um nnpc mm -hmm. yes nnpc mm -hmm. so i got to the um the place so i came down from the vehicle i crossed to the other side I dialed the manager's number so a guy walked up to me he said he just sent the gardener of the hotel to come and pick me and coincidentally when i got down i saw something like an event like something like an hotel so all my mind was that that is the place so i 
crossed to the other side. The guy said, we are taking this way. That they've already shut the front door. That they, we can't pass through the, so main, using the back door main entrance. Yes, that we are using the behind. Back door so to access the body yes, of the event. Yes, sir. Mm. So we started moving. At a point, I said, I'm not going again. I'm not going again. The guy said, no, now we are closed. I said, I'm not going again. Mm. Before I knew it, they brought out a gun. Someone handcuffed me. Just Uncle. move. Yes, sir. So they dragged my shin. That was when I knew that, ah, yes. I'm into something serious. I said, shouting, Jesus, they shut up your mouth. You are mad. I said, bleeding, please, you push, you not kill me. I have kids. I don't, please. Oh, I'm trying to survive. They shot me. They took me inside the forest. I'm asthmatic. So I almost died. I was, you know, I was trying to mm, gain mm, breath. Mm, mm. They molested me. They beat me. They stabbed me a lot. I was just shouting, Jesus, please save me. Jesus. I was begging them. They said Nigeria told them to be wicked. That uh, yeah, there's nothing like mercy. I should open my phone. I opened my phone. They collected the money in my account. They withdrew everything. They collected my phone. They said I should call the wig, my clothes, everything. They left me naked. Mm. I was begging these people. Naked? Yes, sir. I was begging these people. I told them, please, they should not kill me. My kids will only suffer if they kill me, please. I was begging them. They said they are demanding for ransom. I said I don't have anybody to help me, sir. Before I knew it, the guy said, this one, an idiot. So, In Abuja it here. It was a caution. They hit my head. They left me there. I was, I was traumatized. They left me there. They went. So after some time, I regained myself. I don't know where I'm running to. One speaker just said, Joy, wake up and start running. I don't know where I was running to in the thick forest that middle of the night. So I was just running towards one direction. I got into the most stuck up in the mud. So when I, I, I just went, I, I later found out that I was in one industrial area. Layout. Mm. Industrial area. It was a no resident. So I was hitting the gate of the 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 company. Please help me, kidnappers. They are pursuing me. The man said they cannot help me. Mm -hmm. I went to another place. I hit the guy. Said I should go back to that place. They were open for me. I knocked nobody. So frustrated, I came back. I was just shouting, God, the spirit of my mom, please save me from here. What if something comes out and eats me up? If I knew it, a van was just coming in front of me. At about what hour? So they collected my phone. I so you don't know, empty. and you were naked. Yes, sir. That was middle of the night. With the man that came out, young lady, what are you doing here? Where are you running to? What happened? With the last strength, before I fell down on the floor, the man that came picked me inside the vehicle and took me to um, one army checkpoint close by. The army that said, what is it that you should even be thankful they did not kill you? Because the plan, they said they will remove my party if I cannot produce the money uh -huh. to go and sell. That, that was the way the manager said. In Abuja now. If I knew it, they, they now drove me to the police station. That was where I got to. Now you, they now gave me this thing. I covered myself. Let's appreciate the Nigerian police. So they were asking me for my um the my I said I can't remember anything because mm. they hit me very I couldn't remember. They were hitting you in yes, your, your head. My head. On your head. I couldn't remember anything. So I was trying to remember someone's contact mm. to at mm. least call my people to let them know that I'm so 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 please. The lady in the lady the lady that was just insulting me, useless the girl. Police. Yes, ma. The, the other police one, woman. Yes, ma useless girl how can you tell me you can't remember anything i said no i can't remember anything i was crying they, 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 they were insulting me <laughs> at the end of the day the next morning one guy that speaks my language mm. they told him Don't to, to you. <laughs> just they told the guy to cry by you I'm from being mistaken from me now I looked for the so uh, the policeman uh, is an illegal uh, person. Yes, they now told them to go and look for my people. They now look for somebody. They now came, spoke my language. They now looked for a way. I told them to give me a pen and a bio. Yeah, so I, yes, I I cashed out the number. I said they should dial the number. 
Luckily, it was my mom that picked me. My mom now rushed to the police station that morning. They said they should buy clothes and uh, buy and uh, this because I'm naked, bring clothes and shoes for me. So my mom brought them to me. Then when she came, the police were still insulting me and telling them that she had a very useless woman that showed me where I might leave the and said, I'm looking for you and the rest of you. They take me to the hospital. I was bleeding. Police. Okay, they molested you. I was bleeding, so he said they should take me to a um, government hospital that they should prescribe the drugs and the rest. So we came back and it was me police. Uh, sir, I have their number. Maybe we should try mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. yes. They were bending the case, turning the case. I called one so of my friends. They did not kill you. They did not take me. Did it happen to another of my friends? Oh. The lady was supposed to be here today. I tried to call her number. Sir, a lot of people are fall for the yeah. victim of these same people. This one, this one is my next door neighbor. She, she my my mom was asking her what happened to you. You've not seen she said she was kidnapped. I was like, where? She said, did you? I said, where? The same people that kidnapped me, how come? She inaugurated the same thing they did was the same thing they did to me. And she was, she was she were following the case up. To was she also molested? Yes, sir. The, the, the post is on TikTok. Her post is on TikTok. See, now police has not done anything about it. And the last time, the last time my phone rang, another lady, I don't know, her name is Miss Ma Amarachi. My, my spirit just told me to save that lady's number. The, no, the lady was supposed to be a victim of these same people. Yeah. But I started using my contact to chat many ladies oh. for this same job. They've done they a police, lot. Not, Sir, they've not done anything. Call CPF City for me They've now, not please. done anything about City. Karimo, the, the, the case. Call I reported CPF to her phone. They said I should take it to Karimo. They are just turning us up and down. Till I got frustrated. This my friend now is trying to follow the case. Nobody. Before we knew it, this lady called me that she and um, and um, um, please, my where is the venue? for the job where is the venue? and i said don't go they are kidnappers thank god you were able to get it. don't go she said she has paid money away. i said don't go she now said thank you my god will bless you she said he's only just paying her because they collected her money i said me that they collected my money they collected my clothes they collected my phone they still collected money from my people oh. telling them that i'm stranded yes sir they called some of my contacts to send money and those you ones they didn't know that speaker, I, yes Hello, good afternoon, sir. Yes. I'm fine, sir. Tell us, say, with the call and live on air. Just give me the. You don't live on air, sir. Hold on for the honorary president, sir. Okay. We need his intervention. Hello, CP. Good morning, sir. Morning, how are you? For, Honorary, sir. Yes, sir. We are live on uh, on on air now on Human Rights Radio and Television Bracket, the family program, sir. Okay. We get we get uh, a couple of um, victims. Uh, of uh, one chance and uh, kidnappers in the studio now yes sir and uh, some of the cases are so pathetic and uh, some of your men did uh, what they were supposed to do some refused to do what they are supposed to do sir one of the victims uh, have got the number of uh, the kidnappers and yet the police that is investigating the matter is just trying to sweep the matter under under the carpet sir. they molested her they did everything collected money and and we have over 40 victims as we speak now sir yeah. i would love for you to interview them personally if you have the time okay uh, I, I I, I yes, sir.
is it easy to access the uh, office of the commissioner of police we are trying to create a link now because getting to the office of the commissioner of police is not easy okay thank you very much thank you very much look when i not go anywhere i don't like the response this is not encouraging so unconcerned come back tomorrow let us escalate the remaining cases if the cp is not ready to do the ig will be ready to do we are not begging anybody to do his or her job when they tell you say police wait this she's a victim she has their number for them to take her serious so she, they can track the number they did not do who is area commander do you know, do we know where to find area commander i will never call the cp again for any matter no one no go if you want to go go but come back tomorrow let us continue from where we stop others with the outside make we come back tomorrow we will we will expose the matter until the right ear get to here and the right action is taken thank you very much on behalf of everybody una bye